Morning all and welcome to Lavender Hall Fishery uh, for the Midlands Fishing Matches Qualifier 12. This uh, is a two pool event. Uh, there's going to be three qualifiers from these pools and nine pegs per um, section. As you can see, all the social distancing measures are in place. And in the window, you've got young cat who's going to be serving you food and drinks. Have a wave, cat. What we'll do first is go for a walk around the tackle shop. Great turnout today. Lovely little place, Lavender. It's got its own on-site tackle shop. It's got its own calf. Uh, due to COVID measures at the moment, the calf is uh, restricted. And this is the queen of the palace, Debs. Say hello, Debs. Hello, Jason. <laughs> so we'll go through the calf into the tackle shop. And just so you get a better close up, there's cats. <laughs> There's the girls behind the uh, counter. <laughs> in through the tackle shop. And as you can see, there's a huge amount of work going on in the tackle shop at the moment. Uh, they've not long finished an extension, which you can see Gaz over in the corner there. They've got uh, new displays coming in, Drennan. They've got more Guru coming in, Nash. They've got MIDI displays, Carp Spirit. Corda, and these are the two leaders of the pack, Gaz and Tom. Yay! Gaz is the good looking one. The old one. The old good looking one. Guru Heaven, and then we got Frenzy. Then we've got more adrenaline displays coming in. Let's go and have a look at the pools. So, we've just walked down the complex and the first pool we come to is Oak. Oak used to be one of the old match pools and it's now been turned into a intermediate cart pool. Uh, obviously station, which is down the bottom of the complex is the main cart pool uh, and the bookings on there uh, well it's always booked it doesn't matter what time of year it is it's always booked and then we come on to the new Silv silvers pool which has been uh, dredged restocked and they've even added some islands in and right at the bottom uh, where you see the bun at the bottom uh, there's a new uh, stock pool there and it looks like fish are coming out, fish are topping can't wait to get onto this one as you can see there's a designated point for dipping your nets which must be done before each match and then laid out uh, on the bank so they can dry the pool you're looking at at the moment is one of the ones in the qualifier today and this is Ben's lovely pool some cracking fish in this pool as you can see everybody is steadily setting up and we'll have a chat to some of the anglers a little bit later and see how they're going then from there we go over to dragon pool unlike ben's dragon has got two islands uh, there's a small island and a larger island with a uh, shelf all around it more social distancing measures for the tackle shop this is peg one Mr Markham This is Dragon. There's Island One. 
and there's Island 2. Good bed of reeds all the way around. Hopefully some margin fishing a bit later. The depths average three to four foot on this side and over the other side, which we call the grass bank, is down to about seven foot. And to be honest, the fish can come from anywhere on this pool. There's plenty of double figures in here. F1s, a good uh, head of silvers. So we'll catch up with the anglers in a few minutes. Right then, Mr. Mark Fountain, he knows this uh, venue quite well. Uh, what peg you got today, Mark? Six on bends. And what's your prediction? I'd rather have had a corner peg. Okay. But there'll be a few fish to be caught. And you, what do you reckon the estimated weight's going to be? On bends, 80, 85 pounds. 80, 85, good, good. I'll try and get some action shots off you later. Hey, I'm not saying I'll have 80 and 85 pounds, but somebody will. <laughs> right then. 30 seconds to the off, everyone looks ready, Mr Markham on peg one has got the wind blowing into him, it's got to be the favourable peg for today, so here we go then, all in, so the match has just been kicked off and literally within 30 seconds fish on peg, peg 13 that's excellent to see It certainly looks like a carp. Nice little ripple to it. No point in rushing your first fish. Get it in the net, get a bit of waiting. And just across the, the way, peg two. Is it just netting an F1? Beautiful. And we've got a carp in the net over there. So it's all started. We're looking for big weights here today. We'll have a trip over to Dragon and see how they're doing. Right then, it's over to Tom, the fishery manager, for a bit of an update. Over to you, Tom. Over on Ben's now, guys. Oh. Just under an hour and a half in, fish getting caught all over. Peg 15, peg 12, I think Gary Harris over here in the middle. I think he's winning at the minute, hasn't stopped catching from the off. Always having a few this side as well. Wayne in peg one's catching a few. I've seen Rob have an F1 early. Yeah, fish getting caught all over really, so which is good. He's on the feeder over there as well. So different tactics as well. Be interesting to see how it finishes this one. It'll be quite tight I think. There's one over there, look. Peg 15.
crucial timing at the net like that, you don't want to rush them. You bump them off of the net, but you also want to try and get them in to get back out there. Just trying to get that balance right. I mean, not that I know I'm a cart boy, but that's what I tell me these match boys. <laughs> Speaking at the minute, by the way, is Tom, I'm the fishery manager here at Lavender. Jason just popped off site for an hour or so, so he's asked me to fill in with a bit of filming. So why I am, I'll do a little plug, it'd be rude not to. Our opens are on every Saturday and Wednesday. We just alternate them between Brook, our new Silver's Lake, Ben's, which is the one we're looking at now, and Dragon. To book in, just go to the website. It's dead easy. Uh, try to book in advance, because we're full for this Wednesday already. But yeah, if you ever want to come down, you feel free. Mighty steady. Well done. Got your stuff. Right, we'll go have a mooch on dragon. Peg 13 on Ben's. Looks like he's into a carp. Uh, the reports are from the initial uh, catching of fish as soon as it started in less than 30 seconds. Uh, it slowed up quite a bit. But this side seems to be where the fish on bends are coming from. Apologies about the wind. Looks like it might be one of the stocky carp that's in there. It's more weight in the net. Lovely stocky carp, nice. Move further down on the roadside of the bends. And it looks like Mr. Beasley, who's on the method, it's just lost one. Plenty of fish feeding on the bottom, as you can see, but it looks like they're just grubbing through the silt at the moment. Plenty of activity. Miss that one. Let's go and have a look at Dragon. Right then, the reports on Dragon so far is that the grass side, which is the teens and twenties, they seem to be finding the fish at the moment. On the other side, they're struggling quite a bit. As you can probably hear, the wind started to get up a little bit. Absolutely lovely pool this is. This side's a bit deeper than the rest of the pool. It goes down to about six, some places seven foot. Which lends itself brilliantly for a bit of margin fishing. And there's lots of fish topping on the point of the island. Which is good to see. around the other side and see what I tell you.
the pools here at Lavender lend themselves to so many different methods. You see around the pool today, we've got the waggler going, we've got slapping going on, feeder, bomb, pole work, margin work, and everybody seems to be using different baits. There's not just one bait that this place, or the fish in this place loves. up into a fish looks like one of the uh, F1s and a method feeder lovely let's have a walk around the rest of the pool and see what's going on right so we're at the top end of Dragon now with Greg who's on peg 10. Uh, Greg's owning up to 20 pounds at the present moment in time and he's uh, is it a bomb or method Greg? Uh, a little pellet feeder. Little pellet feeder to the island. Little eight mil pineapple mainline wafter. And he's uh, picking off a few. There's definitely lots of swirls out there. There's a few towels showing. Yeah so hopefully if they get the heads down the second half of the match should be quite good. Hopefully, mate. Good luck, buddy. Cheers, mate. Well, we're now on the roadside of Dragon, and they're struggling. They're struggling a lot in the pegs that we would expect them to be, in peg six and seven, which is uh, the corner next one in. Um, they are struggling a lot. That's the pegs everybody wanted. But as you know, fish swim. The winds change direction and absolutely anything could happen for the second half of the match. A few people have gone and started giving down the margins now. So let's hope for some big boys down the edge. Give you an update in a minute. Right, so we're here on peg one on Dragon. Uh, with David Markham and he's just been for a look down the edge and I think this is the second fish he's hooked into even if the first one I believe was uh, foul looked but this one looks like it's in the right place Said it before these uh these fish in summer they really stick up a fight and it's a lump Excellent David, well done. Beautiful fish. How are you Dave? Um, tenish. Tenish, I think it's a little bit over 10 but yeah, tenish we'll go for. Well done, get a few more in the net. Alright, so back on pens behind uh, Mr. Rob Round, who's coming short now on peg two. And the word on the street is, Mr. Harris over there on peg 13, is into the fish quite consistently. 
and so is Mr. Adams on pig one, who we believe is leading this pool at the moment with around 50 pound. There's Rob just on cube with a nice F1. A few people have started on the margins. Peg nine seems to be picking up a couple of little ones now. The wind's causing a bit of a problem, it's swirling all over the place at the moment. Such a lovely venue. So, just a quick update. From what we understand, and um, Ben's pool, that peg one, is uh, leading the way at the present moment in time. With around 50 pounds. And that's Mr. Wayne Adams. There's still fish coming out, as you can see. Mr. Jolly over there is into one. The way that's going, it looks like a carp. And we believe that Mark Stibbs on peg 14 and Dragon is leading the way at the moment. But also Dave Markham, he's having a, a few lumps. And I don't think it'll take long for him to catch up if he's uh, down the margin. There's still two and a half hours left of the match. So anything can happen. Update again in a minute. Right then, quick update. One hour to go. Uh, and we're looking at Dragon Paul at the present moment in time. Uh, and there's Max in the pink. You would have seen Max on the last video of Barston. Where she was smashing it up. Um, today she's finding it a bit harder. But... It is being said that the fish have completely switched off on Dragon and everyone is scraping for a bite at the moment. So it's not just one area, it's the whole pool. The sun's up high, the wind's blowing and everybody looks like they're starting to go down the margins. Well, 50 minutes to go and we'll see what happens, I guess. Just gonna have a look at Ben's now. So we're back over on Ben's pool, uh, and I'm being reliably informed that the fish are still coming out. And that gentleman there, Gary Harris, is believed to be leading the way at the present moment in time. We've peg one Wade Adams uh, in second place. But as you can see, there are still fish coming out. There's McJolly. He looks like he's fishing down the edge as well. And he's into something. And looking at that, it's not a happy fish. Oh, he's lost it. Unlucky. And then there's another fish. Just being netted over there. Looks like an F1. So there's definitely fish still being caught here on bins. Just looking at the place, you can see why people love Lavender Hall. That many features, the pegs are ideal. Bob's going out long to see if there's anything else out there. Right. 
Let's have a walk around and see what else is going on. So we're behind Mark Fountain now on peg six, who's been fishing down the edge right next to the pallet leg. And it looks like he's into a carp. How many is this, Mark? Uh, be about 60 pounds. About 60 pounds, he thinks. In the shallow water, they really hang on. Definitely got a bit of energy. Unlucky Mark. Fortunately folks, that's fishing. Get back in there, get another one. Now we have Rob Round on pig two. He's trying to snare a few off the surface. Lovely fish there Rob. Get back out there and get another one. What's he had on, uh, he's, he's empty on the margin, isn't he? Uh, he's only up to 55 pounds at the moment. 55? Yeah. Lovely fish. So we've got a 77 of them. And Mark Fountain's into another one. Let's go and see. That margin's doing him really well at the moment. The margins on any venue can make or break you.
definitely there's another one lost. He's always got a backup. Now I knew we'd get some live footage from Maxine. Here she is on pig two of Dragon. And this looks like a bit of a beast. Oh, it is. It's a right warrior. That's a good. That's a good ten pounder. Excellent. Well done, Max. Back on Ben's. And pig seven is into a nice fish. That's a beauty. The fish are still coming out of bends, but unfortunately for Dragon, it switched off earlier and it certainly hasn't changed. Mr. Peasley's got one on pig eight. On the method feeder by the look of it. Yep, looks like an F1. down to the last 15 minutes and at the moment for some people it's all to play for check up in a minute right then we're at the end of qualifier the whistle's about to go Greg on peg 10 on Dragon. Had a good day. Probably fishing towards that island. Was fishing over to that island, Greg? Or? Uh, shallow on pellet and a few on the. Okay. A few on the uh, pellet feeder. Oh, that's it. Told me that bucket. It's just a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, just in case. Well done, give him a shake. Oh, yeah. Sorry boys. No, it's, oh, it's tricky. Good. There's one there's one in that net I think at the top, you know Greg? Is that? Yes, I think so mate. Sorry, Very small, yeah. All right mate, we'll do them first. So hold that together. Oh. Right. Can you read Jace? 39. Seven. Take number seven first way. Scales. 
Nice mirror in there, it's a skinny one. Yeah, whack it on top, yeah, yeah, whack it on top, yeah, right. There's only one. Complimentary Make a difference. Yeah, you never know. Come on, well done. You lost many, you? No. 24-11. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> good effort, good effort. Yeah, enjoyed it. Good day. Good man. Steve-O, pick 14 on Dragon. Got three nits. This is the first one. Tension the one. Tension the one, okay. Well, it's still three. <laughs> I'll just do that. I'll give you out, baby. Come on, I'll do it. You got it? That's right. 41 2. two. Yeah. Thoughts about that? 43. <laughs> 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 yeah, what about that? Yeah. You lost many, Steve. Yeah. Or... Aye. You've lost many? I've lost one on the wag. That's it. Okay, no, that's not too bad, is it? <laughs> Don't mind that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Second way. 45. Six one. Yeah, six one. Thank you. Honest, Debo. Sorry, Dave, mate. Nick, next door to Stibo. Big fifteen on Dragon. Yes, yes. Two in there. Just one way. Yeah. Thirty-nine. Twelve. Twelve. Thirty-nine. Twelve. Well done. I got out of it. Thirty pound. Five. I don't mind. You can do it two ways if you feel happy with it. See you, mate. Take one on Ben's. <laughs> So, one out, you know. Stop and see. There we go. 
Oh my. Yeah, well done, mate. Yeah. Rob, peg two, bends. First net. Pardon, mate. Fortnight. <laughs> Hold him up. First way. <laughs> fifty two fourteen, Chase? Yep. Fifty two fourteen. Okay, I'll get him up, we'll get him up, mate. Was he more worried about his coffee then? Yeah. I love him all day. Can I be fair at the front, can I? What are you on about? Fair at the front, can I? Nah. Second way. Five, 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 Get a shake, it'll come. There we go. Alright. I guess you all end up in there. <laughs> Good. Steady on, mate. Go down there, do you? Yeah. Tsunami in the stock pond. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> that's harsh. <laughs> that's harsh. I love you, Do you realise how much energy I've got? What's wrong with that? Good start. That's right. I'll pick on here. Pick 10, it's Adrian. One. Nice now, isn't it? Now. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> 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 Come on, really, yeah, oh, you went half back up, wouldn't you? Second way. Beauty if you don't. Nineteen five. Nineteen fifteen. I saw the one. Who wanna be, does that? <laughs> 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 Five eleven. Go. Oh, it's a good 
good effort though, mate. Back to back days. Well done. Hold on, mate. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, lovely one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, mate. I've got to stop the cord there. Pick 13. Gary. Oh, one out. Oh, nice goldfish. Yeah, nice goldfish. In there. Yeah, I just, I just clocked that then. I wonder what he was at first. Got it. I'm sorry. First way, 43, 14. You in there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does, isn't it? Oh, no. I don't know whether that'd be two ways. Yeah, it will be. It's a definite, definite two ways. Yeah. 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 Second way. 31, 8. Sleep by tonight, guys. Easy. Stop moaning now, Patty. It's a quick. Not a quick. Wait there, wait there. It's not your fault, we're all right there. Go we'll get the top of you. Might not fry. It's not only one in. 39, 10, 10, yeah. Well done. Make 15, Mick Jolly. That's it. Uh, 